Let's visit Malaga, Spain. You're watching World Travel Guide, and today we will take you to the hometown of Picasso, and one of the oldest cities in Europe, so stay tuned. Malaga is a city in Spain, capital of the province of Malaga, in the autonomous community of Andalusia. With a population of almost 600,000, it is the second most populous city in Andalusia, after Seville, and the sixth most populous in Spain. It lies on the Costa del Sol of the Mediterranean, about 100 kilometers east of the Strait of Gibraltar. Malaga's history spans about 2,800 years, making it one of the oldest cities in Europe and one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. According to most scholars, it was founded about 770 BC by the Phoenicians. From the 6th century BC, the city was under the hegemony of ancient Carthage, and from 218 BC, it was ruled by the Roman Republic. After the fall of the empire and the end of Visigothic rule, it was under Islamic rule for 800 years, but in 1487, the crown of Castile gained control in the midst of the Granada War. The archaeological remains and monuments from the Phoenician, Roman, Arabic and Christian eras make the historic center of the city an open museum, displaying its history of nearly 3,000 years. Malaga is an important tourist destination, known as the capital of the Costa del Sol. An estimated 6 million tourists visit the city each year. Tourists usually visit the old town or the beaches. The Malaga Harbor is also the second busiest cruise port of the Iberian Peninsula. Beyond its 16 sunny beaches, this Andalusian city on the shores of the Mediterranean has a fascinating cultural side. The birthplace of Pablo Picasso has reinvented itself in recent years, inaugurating museums for all tastes. If you take the combination of sea and culture, and add a lively atmosphere, fashionable neighborhoods like Soho, areas such as the port that have been transformed to offer a more modern image, and monuments with centuries of history, the result is an exciting city everyone would want to discover. The Alcazaba Palace Fortress was built in the 11th century by King Batis of Granada. It is perfectly adapted to the contours of the land, and takes maximum advantage of the elevation of a hill. It is made up of two concentric spaces, the outside part is on the lower level, and the inner part houses the palace. The Cathedral of the Encarnacion is one of the town's most important monuments. It is situated in the historic center of the town. Work began in the first half of the 16th century, in the Gothic style, ordered by the Catholic monarchs, and continued in the 17th and 18th century. The south tower and the main facade are unfinished. It has its own gardens and a beautiful courtyard. Standing proudly on the Mount Gibralfaro above the Alcazaba, the Castillo de Gibralfaro is another medieval Moorish fortress. The castle was built in the 10th century on the site of a Phoenician lighthouse. The Sultan of Granada, Yusef I, enlarged the fortress in the early 14th century. Although much of the fortress has been destroyed, the site provides a fascinating historical perspective. The Malaga Picasso Museum is a must-see attraction for lovers of modern art. This museum in the Old Town displays an extensive collection of Malaga's famous native son. The collection represents the entire span of Picasso's life and art career, from his earliest studies to his revolutionary artistic innovations. Soho is a central neighborhood which is an icon of urban art and underground culture in the city of Malaga. Its most recognizable feature is probably the large-scale graffiti art covering some of its buildings. These murals include work by internationally recognized graffiti artists. The district is easy to explore on foot and is very close to Malaga's main tourist area. Its streets feature independent local businesses with a strong sense of identity and several art and cultural centers.
Malaga can be visited year-round, but based on the ideal climate conditions, cost of travel, and avoiding peak holiday periods, May and June is the best time to go. Malaga is blessed with a blissful Mediterranean climate. The city rarely gets cold, even in winter it is warm enough. We hope you enjoyed this short trip to Malaga. If you love this video, hit the like button and subscribe. You should also check out other beautiful cities on our channel.